the difference between sewing and stitching, okay? So this was originally the cube, my typical cube, okay? But I cut these faces off, so now I have different uh, shells. But let's say I wanna put them together, okay? So I go on the edge and I select this one. And if I click on sew, it's actually going to stretch them together to put them together, which is going to deform my UVs, okay? I don't wanna do that. What I do is use a stitch together. Then it's not deforming anything, it's just scaling it up to put it together. And I stitch together again, and then I have my shape again. Or in, in your case, I just put it together, okay? Just to keep, uh, in, uh, keep in mind the difference between sewing and stitching together. In many cases, stitching together works much better for what we want to do, okay? So how do I get this map? to Photoshop. And all I have to do is export this. So basically I just click on the snapshot that for some reason is up here and also down here on the UV sets, okay? So uh, I just save it. There is a bunch of formats, but I actually like Maya if because it counts only the lines, okay? So I'm going to browse it and put it here on my source images. So uh, cube map. Okay, apply and close. And then I'm going to open Photoshop. So I don't see anything because right now uh, I have the other thing behind. So let's just put a background and I have that, okay? So let's say I'm just gonna uh, paint this um, this color I painted blue and the other color I'm gonna paint it yellow. Okay, and the other color I'm just gonna paint it in whatever ugly color I selected. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, and so on and so forth. And then let's just do this great. Okay. So now if I save this map and I load it in Maya and color cube. Now I have my colors on my map because it was already mapped and I save it. Okay, it's that easy. Now, when does it become tricky? Uh, how do I know how is this flattened out and wrapped thing supposed to look? <laughs> That's tricky when you're doing uh, something like the cushion. So in the case of the cushion, you are better off already having a, a seamless texture and unwrapping it there. In the case of this flatten out things, you might consider actually putting it together on Photoshop afterwards when you save your map, okay?